Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel. So in this video I want to talk about how to upload a sequence to your Falcon player, creating a playlist and putting that playing into a schedule so you can actually play your, your sequence, right? So let's say for the, the, for the last few weeks you've been working hard coming up with your sequence and now it's, start, it's time to, to play them, you know? So, um, so let's jump right into it. By the way, if you haven't uh, configured your Falcon player for the first time, uh, there's a link up here uh, that will show you how you can do it, okay? So, okay, so we have X lights open. So let's create two simple sequence uh, for test, and those are the ones that we're gonna upload uh, to our Falcon player. So I'm gonna start by creating a mega tree in here, very simple one. Um, I'm gonna go into the sequencer, and I'm gonna start a musical sequence. I'm gonna pick a song, I have a music upload test in here, so I'm gonna pick that one. Uh, 20 frames per second, and uh, we're done. Okay, so we got our music on the top, and I chose a mu musical one because I want you to show you, you how the music is also created, okay? Uploaded, I mean. So let's start by adding an effect. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna select this one, the butterfly. It's a, I like this one a lot. Let um, me change the style. Okay, so that's good. All right, so we got our first sequence. Now, I'm gonna save it, but be careful where you save it. Make sure that you're saving it to the same place that you have your, uh, your show. Right now it's pointing, pointing to documents demo. So make sure that you save it right there because otherwise the next step might not work, okay? So let's go back. Oh, so now let's save it. Let's do save as. And I'm gonna go into that directory, which is demo, and I'm gonna save it here. Test sequence one and save. Okay, so we have one sequence. All right, and uh, now let's save it again. And let's now let's save it as number two. So this one is going to be number two and save. Okay. Perfect. So we have two sequences now. So now let's see how we're going to upload them to the Falcon player. By the way, if you have not set up Falcon player, I have a video right here uh, that will show you how to do it. Okay. So, okay. So now we're going to go. Oh, let me open a Falcon player. So I open a browser and I'm going to connect to my Falcon player, which is sitting in uh, this IP address. And let's go into the content setup file manager and I just want to show you the sequence that I have here I have four sequence I have some audio files these audio files are attached to those some of those sequence okay um, and I just want to show you this just to prove that we have those sequence have not been uploaded on, on the file player. okay so now let's go back to our um, X lights now we're gonna go into the tool section and do an FPP connect, okay? Now this is gonna look for our Falcon players that we have connected on our network. Now, he found, in my case, he found two. Why? Because I have two networks. Even is the same, um, I, have been, I can get to, the, to it with two IP addresses, okay? So I'm gonna unselect the first one and I wanna use this one. Uh, it automatically discovers which version of the player I'm using uh, the sequence type, we can leave it as B1. We have some other options, but B1 is the one that we need. Um, I believe that the type, you just talk about compressing the files. Uh, there's some uh, versions of, uh, if you don't have the latest version, um, the sequencer in x -Lite will compress the file before being uploaded. So we're gonna keep it on B1, and here we're gonna choose the media. If you want to upload the media as well, yes, I wanna upload the media, the, the music, right? And uh, we can actually upload the, 
straight to a playlist. I have my Christmas 2019 and 2021. I'm gonna leave it blank because I want to show you how to create a playlist, right? Okay, so we're just gonna upload it there. So it, uh, it found two sequence, three sequence here. Our sequence one, sequence two, and another demo sequence that I have. So this is why I told you to save it on that directory, right? Because if you don't save it, chances are they're not gonna show on this list on the bottom, okay? So we're gonna upload uh, one by one. We're gonna, we're gonna, you can upload both of them at the same time. I'm just gonna upload one of them right now. We select that one and we can tell that this is the, the sequence itself and then we have the music, okay? So I'm gonna click upload and it's trying to get, it's transferring the files, shouldn't take too long. Uh, now, both of them are using the same song, okay? So our second try is gonna override the first one, right? So this, that's fine, there's no, no problem in it, okay? So the sequence is being uploaded, be patient. It all depend on the speed of your network, you know, how long it might take. Uh, this one will probably only take less than a minute, okay? So there we go, it's uploading. And once it's uploaded, we're gonna go into our Falcon player and make sure that both the sequence and the music got uploaded. Okay, it's almost done. So uh, I'm gonna upload the second one while we take a look at the Falcon player so we don't have to wait for this for our second uh, sequence. And almost done. We are almost there. And there we go, it's been uploaded. So I'm gonna do that again and upload the second one. So now I'm gonna unselect sequence once, I'm gonna select sequence number two and upload. So while this is uploading, I'm gonna go and uh, into more Falcon player now. So now let's, uh, we're in the sequence, so let's refresh. And we should see our sequence number one. And there we go, test sequence number one, okay? Second one still being uploaded. So let's go into the audio. And now we have the music upload test. It's an MP3 uh, and it's, it's already being uploaded, okay? So let's see where are we with, uh, with the upload, okay? We are about 75% done. And after this finished, now we should have to a uh, sequence and we can create our playlist with those two ones, okay? Almost there. And be patient, I mean, if you show, if your sequence is a, is a big one, it, it will probably take a few minutes, okay? So almost ready. It says not responding, but it is responding. Just taking some time. There we go. So now let's go back to our Falcon player. I'm gonna go into sequence. I'm gonna refresh my screen. And now I have test sequence number one, and test sequence number two, okay? And they're big files, even they don't have much they're 157 megabytes, okay? So this, this is a large, large uh, files, okay? In the audio, okay, we have the music upload test. We only had one because it, it was uploaded twice. Okay, so I guess we're ready to create our playlist. So let's go ahead and now move into content setup and playlists, okay? So right now I have two playlists. I have 2019 and 2021. 
we're gonna create a second version of the 2021 Christmas uh, playlist. I'm gonna select the first one just for you to see. So this is my 2019 show. Um, I got four songs only, and they're made up of the sequence and the media, okay? In total, they make uh, about four uh, 13 uh, minutes. That's how long my, my show takes, and then it restarts over and over and over again. So let's go ahead and create a new playlist. So we're gonna, on the top, we're gonna enter the playlist. Let's um, call it Chris Mash 2021 ver version B, okay? Now, I'm gonna click Create and take a look at this description on the bottom. I'm gonna click Create. And there we go, we have Christmas 2021 version B. So we have two. Now, this, this playlist is not gonna be saved until we click the Save button, okay? Don't think that just by creating the Create, we already have it. We, need, we still need to save it. So I'm gonna click Save. And now we have that playlist in here, okay? So now we can come and start adding our playlist, our songs to uh, the list that we have on the bottom. Now, take a look at this at what we have in the bottom. We have, a, we have uh, three sections. We have a uh, lead in, the main playlist, and lead out. Meaning that we can actually have one song as your introduction to your show, and we have another song as your, you know, goodbye song, you know, good night nice song, something like that. So you can actually, and, and the lead one, and the lead out are only going to play once on each cycle, okay? So now we're ready to start adding our sequence. So on the first choice, we have the type. So we're going to upload the sequence and media, yes. Uh, which sequence are we talking about? Which one are we going to upload? When we click in here, we should see uh, all of our sequence that we have uploaded. And here we have, you know, test sequence one and test sequence two. So I'm gonna upload the uh, test sequence number one, um, and it automatically ties to map which song uh, it should, you know, it should we should use, which is uh, that one, music upload test MP3, and uh, we're gonna leave uh, video out as default, and we're gonna click add. By default, it comes into our main playlist. Okay, if we want this to be our lead in, then all we have to do is just drag it in there, okay? And we drag it in here. We drag it to the bottom if you want. But this is gonna be part of my main playlist in this, side, in this option, okay? Now let's do the same with sequence number two. Select that one, same song, and add. And there we go, we got one and two. And we have some options I'm here, we can replace it, we can remove one, we can edit, uh, we can insert after or before what we have, or we can just drag and drop them in here, okay? So that's another option that we have. So now that we have done this, now we can save it again, okay? Don't forget to save. And it's been saved, okay? So let's make sure that that was saved, right? So let's go on the top and select, let's say 2019 for song, and then let's go back to our 2021 version B, two songs. Okay, and that's it, very simple. In here we have two items, and the total time is gonna be five minutes and 37 seconds. So that's how long our uh, playlist is gonna take. So that's, that's it, you know, we have a playlist. And now we can schedule it, you know, to run, you know, our, our timing, you know. So now let's go back to the top, content setup, and the scheduler. And we're gonna do a basic uh, schedule. You can later on come in here and, and, and make it more robust. But let me show you what I have. So right now, uh, my last year um, schedule playlist, you know, started on the 12th of December, of the 11th of December, and it ran all the way to January the 3rd. It ran every day which playlist it was playing, at what time would it start, at what time would it end, and if I want to leave some timing in between, you know, you can 
shut down your sequence, you know, your show for five minutes, ten minutes, or just none. You know, it will go over and over, you know. And how you want to end this, uh, this schedule? Gracefully, meaning that it will wait until the last song finishes, even your end time has already expired. Um, a graceful loop or just a hard stop. It got to that time and it's a hard stop. I have it on graceful, okay? Now, so let's add a new schedule. We're gonna click add. And when do we want this to start? Well, I want this to start in 2021, in December the 1st. And it's gonna run all the way to 2021, no, 2022. January, let's say, uh, the 3rd, okay? Now, how often do we want to run this? Do you want to run it every day, only on Sundays, Monday, Tuesday? So this gives you an idea. You can have different playlists on different uh, days of the week. You, some of you, you have you know, a playlist for Sundays, for Mondays, for Tuesdays, you know, and that's how you can set it up. I'm going to have it for every day. Uh, which playlist you want to play? You could play your last year also, you know, or you could play this year's one. So I want to play the new version. At uh, what time you want to start? Well, I want to start at 5 o'clock in the afternoon once it gets dark, you know. I want to end it at midnight if you want, right? And um, if you want to repeat it over and over again, okay? So that's how easy it is to add a playlist. I'm going to add another one. So, uh, I'm going to select the same dates, December the 1st, it's going to run on to the um, January 22nd, I mean January of uh, uh, 2022, okay, and I'm going to play my old one, and this is only going to play, let's say if I want this one to play on Mondays, and I want these ones to play on Tuesdays. You know, starting time, you can set it up as you as you wish. Uh huh. Grace, gracefully, and save it. And there we go. Now, take uh, take a look at the notes. If times overlap, playlists higher in the list have priority. Okay. So if you have two on Monday, or playing every day at the same time. Well, the first one is, gonna, is the one that's going to play, right? And uh, we have another choice. If, you want, if, you, if it's active or not, you can unselect that one and it won't, it won't play anymore, okay? Uh, and that's pretty much it. This is how you came up with an easy uh, playlist and how you can schedule it, you know? And you can come back and play around with the options that you have here. But as you can see, it's very flexible. You, you can play more than one playlist on different days, on different times, you know, you can have one from 5 at night to 7, and then another one from 7 to 10, and then the last one from 10 to midnight, okay, and can, you can come up with a very fancy playlist in here, okay. Now, remember one more thing, the Falcon player is a small computer that has an operating system, and if you're going to shut it down every day, Make sure you select the shut down button up, uh, on the bottom because if you just unplug it from the wall, uh, chances are that your files might get corrupt and it, it might not even start the next time. So make sure you shut it down you know, before you unplug it, if you are going to unplug it. And, the, and to do so, all you do is shut down. Uh, you want to shut down the Falcon player? Yes or no? You do OK or you cancel, OK? Uh, I'm going to do that, I just click OK. You don't get a warning that it's being shut, but it only takes about 10 seconds. So after that, you can, you, you're pretty safe to go on and plug it. So there you have it. A very simple way to upload, create a playlist, and create a schedule. Okay, guys? So again, thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. There's more videos coming, and please start your show early in the year. It takes time to come up with sequence and with playlists, okay? Well, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.